trying to do this in a way that doesn't look horrible. It's probably going to look, it's probably just going to look terrible. <laughs> Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Vol Pioneer, and welcome to Let's Play Timberborn. This felt like a appropriate game to play on the channel because it's a city builder. For one, I love city builders. We've played quite a few on the channel. Um, Banished was one of the first games I did play on the channel, actually. But then also, it's uh, all about beavers. The people are beavers in this game. So, it's Anthro. That sounds good to me. I have not watched any tutorials or Let's Plays on this, even though I've seen them around quite a bit. I wanted to go into it kind of blind. So we'll probably just do the de the default to action it's showing us here. Easy going but hard working. Folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful baddies. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Iron teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Work hard, work hard. Oh, we have to reach an average well-being of 11 while playing folk tales to even do that, so... That will explain it. Planes 256 by 256. I suppose we should just do what it's recommending here for our first time. Hop in. We'll do normal. That seems fine to me. Settlement starts with moderate resources. Droughts are milder at the beginning, but intensify over time. Do they infinitely intensify? Or is there a limit to how bad they get? Buildings marked solid, such as a lodge or warehouse. You can build other structures on its roof. Oh, so you can stack buildings. That's interesting. What would you like to call your settlement? We'll go with the good old-fashioned light fire here. We can do dark fire when we can play the other people. All right. We are here. We have our badgers. Not badgers. Beavers. Beavers are not Canadian, okay? I don't know the difference. So what do we got here? Welcome. This tutorial will help you teach the basics. Will help you with all the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs. Only lumberjacks will cut trees. So place two lumberjack flags next to nearby trees. This automatically employs a lumberjack that cuts trees. So this feels like it might be more like... Um, what was it called? Dawn of Man? the R to rotate. I don't know which way we want it to face. Do we want it to face the trees or do we want it to face towards town? I don't know. There we go. Two lumberjack flags. Flags will not be built unless they're in the district's build range. Select the district's center city as build range. You can extend it by building paths. Oh, yeah, it's not a, not a very big range at all. See, do we have a uh, speed up time? We do. Is there a hotkey for this? Not that we know. Oh, mate. Number cad. Yeah, there we go. Number keys always works. Every building with an entrance must be connected to this district center by a path. Beware that district centers have a limited range. Build paths to connect the lumberjack flags to the district center. Yep, yep. We already know about the rest of that. Path. Our path is free, is the big question. There's your path. I assume that needs to be connected like that. Ooh, does it have to get all the way to the door? It did. Okay, I can tell you in advance then that what you're going to want to do is wrap this in path so we can attach things to any side of it. Connect the lumberjacks. Lumberjacks will not start working until you want to tell them what to do. Use the cut trees tool to mark an area for cutting. Lumberjack flag only cuts trees within its range. You can check you can check it by selecting the flag. That feels a little cumbersome that we have to do both. Like banish, we just have to mark the trees, right? For instance, beavers need water to survive, but a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drinking water. Remember to connect it to a district center. Water pump pumps and filters water for beavers to drink. Minimum depth of two. Let's kind of tuck things over here for now. Path and structures. There you go. Those paths are free. I don't mind making my path a little longer than it might need to be. Water to survive. Got the pump here. It is 
Guess it's in range. It wouldn't let me build it if it wasn't in range, right? So. Two or four workers. Though. Those two are hauling, I guess. I assume the rest of them are chomping the trees here. Do I have extra workers right now? Do I need to have free people to haul, kind of like in Banish, where the peasants haul things? Maybe. I feel like I have extra workers right now. I'm going to do that. It is running pretty good, though, by the way. We are on ultra settings, and it's at 144 FPS. Always like to see that. So many games these days that just, like, aren't optimized at all. And it's kind of, like... It's kind of irritating. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's been so bad. Are we okay? Okay. Four more, four more locks. Four more locks. It's taking them surprisingly long time considering it's the only building around. Okay. <laughs> In addition to water, beavers also need food. Build a gatherer flag near some blueberry bushes. Gatherers automatically gather berries within the flag's range. You can stick the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gathering flag. Let's see, do I want to do this little bushel here, or do I want to just go for the big stuff right here? The big shot. Just going to go for here. Nice, that lined up perfectly with that back path there. That makes me very happy. Gather flags. Okay. Seven adults. I guess this shows how they're employed. So I don't have any unemployed now, so. But I will need to take two off once these are done. Let's go ahead and move the two spare workers so they can do that. Settlement needs a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. If you're running low on workers, you can pause some buildings. To do so, select a building, click the pause or P button. Like many other buildings, a farmhouse has limited range. Voice farmers that plant and harvest crops. Okay. Seems logical to me that our... I wonder if it matters if it's on the soil or not. Seems logical to me that it should go over here. I'll give it a space here just in case we need to get around it. Okay. Speed up time. A fair bit of idling. I wonder if we need more wood chopping orders here. How do we actually give that order? I've already forgotten. Labor? Oh, it's over here. Oh, they, they still got trees to cut. Maybe they're out of... Maybe there's out of room for uh, more wood. Oh, they're sleeping now. This one sleeping all on its own. Tezzy, age two. Everyone needs shelter. If this was banished, we'd be dead already, I think. <laughs> it seemed like it was really important in banished to get houses built, like, immediately. Maybe beavers are a little bit more used to... Used to living out in the forest. So do you two just haul or do you build? It looks like you probably do both. I guess some of these, like, maybe this... Oh, well, you're six. Why are you homeless, though? Oh, did you just grow up, maybe? Well, I'm not going to move her, because... This farmhouse will do some numbers for us. Oh. Add some cutting area here. It looks like they're not chopping down the small trees, which is nice. 
It's not always something that's a, a given in these games. <laughs> okay, farmhouse on the way. Working hours. Are they on break or are they have nothing to do? That's my that's my concern there. Just uh speed it up a tad more here. There we go, farmhouse is done. Our one extra worker is working there now. Farmers will not start working until you tell them where to plant. Ah, uh, okay, so it didn't need to be near grass. Crops need to be planted on irrigated land, otherwise they will dry out and eventually die. Okay, is so there a particular thing we need? Carrots, potatoes. Looks like we should probably just do carrots. Because there's more things highlighted in green there. I don't know how big this needs to be, though. Ooh, I also don't know exactly what is green terrain and what is not does it have to be like right next to it like where does it need to be we'll just uh we'll just do that for now how about that catch me outside how about that and now we wait Oh, something flashing. Okay, just the carrots. So we planted the right thing, at least. Only one of you working there. Eh, I could probably, like, take one of you out, because... Pause you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want. Oh, you want 70 carrots. Okay, well, that's a plot of 20. Trying to do this in a way that doesn't look horrible. Another plot of 20. It's probably going to look, it's probably just going to look terrible. <laughs> Let's see. See, I don't know where the grass ends here because it kind of it's kind of intermingled up there. Oh well, let's just let's fill the whole dang thing in. <laughs> Good enough. I figured twenty would be enough. They need quite a lot of carrots. Maybe the game is just future proofing like more than we might need to. Just based on the scale of it, you know, compared to everything else, it seemed like it would be fine. I don't know why this isn't doing anything. Should I put you to work too. I mean, the field's almost done now. I'm sure once this is done, it has to grow for a while. I do have 122 berries, which seem good. But I don't have a measure to go by, so... Okay. Well, all the buildings you place have some stores. They will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, small water tanks to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. Okay. I'm glad I kind of kept things together. Small water tank? Yes. A log pile. Go there. And. Small warehouse. Might leave this somewhere kind of publicly accessible. 
Might be too many job orders at once, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Let's just give it times three a celebration here. I don't know how long it'll take for these characters to age. I think one is already aged. I think we had seven earlier, didn't we? Which is probably how we ended up with an extra person for uh, the farm earlier. Be imagining all this is going to take a while. I probably should have just built one. Oh, they actually got that built pretty quick. Oh, the log pop might have just been done by default, too. Or maybe it just didn't take that many. Oh, no, this actually isn't done. They're using it, though. Oh, I need three? Are you sure about that? Maybe I'll let them finish this one first. Oh, okay, they're done. <laughs> There you go. Plants growing on the top of that one. The water pumps. Okay. Food is dwindling. Oh, there they go. Now they're gathering. I don't know. Yeah, maybe they're just having a storage for all the food. Yeah, that's probably what was happening. Oh, I can sit a desired amount of storage, too. But there's only 200 in there, so I gotta be careful about it. Probably need more chop orders now. I would imagine. Trees are grown. Why is this not working? There we go. These are growing back relatively quick. So maybe there's a certain size. Are these trees okay, by the way? They kind of look... Uh, they might just have like some kind of maple syrup or something we could make out of them. Well, wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be syrup out of the pines? It'd be resin. Highly resinous. It's interesting. Barrier. Actual barrier blocking water can be demolished. Hmm. Will this flood with water if we open that up? What else do we have going on on the map? Anything of particular interest? This kind of looks like something. Underground ruins. Burying ruins full of metal scraps that can be mined. Oh, city ruin. Scatters throughout the land, decrepit and human ruins provide beavers with unimaginable, the unimaginable, a resource superior to wood. Nonsense, that's blasphemy. There's no way. Hey, we had three kids grow up. That'll help. I'll turn you back on. I might want a third wood gatherer, is what I'm thinking. Kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, I don't see a reason to put the the gather points further in. I don't think that would help. Oops, I put it in backwards. At least it didn't cost anything. Can I rotate it? I can only delete it, it seems. There you go. All right, task complete. Auto save. See how we do here. Next thing, homes increase your beaver's well-being and allow your folktales population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. Beavers will not reproduce unless there's empty slots for kits. Are baby beavers actually called kits? Lodge. Six of them. So getting out of hand. Now there is six of them. Let's build a path. Let's slow things down a bit here. 
Let's see how big is a house. Just four by four. Probably do something like that then. I have no idea like what we have to plan for in the future, so just gonna do it like that for now. Okay. Keep it going. It's interesting beaver noise. Is that the noise the beavers make? I would assume so. Not even sure how to describe that noise. Guess it's a little bit of a chur. They have wood. Yeah, I might have built too many again. <laughs> Gotta start just building one thing. Else. Are they building like all of this at once? Because it's like it's highlighted like they're connected. I'm not sure. Let's see. This one has four, twelve. Okay, no, they're separate. It has something to do with like how uh, stacked buildings work because apparently that will be a thing that we need to concern ourselves with. Starting to get a decent little pile of logs going there. Water's fine. Food's fine. How's this growing? Eh, 75% done. So it takes like, I don't know, probably like four days for stuff to grow. Five days. At least for carrots. I don't know if each plant takes a different amount of time to grow or not. But at least it's not like we're really long. We are plowing through our wood supply again. So, I don't know if it's right for me to just keep dragging this out, but it seems to be what the game wants. Or rather, it's what we have to do. <laughs> I have one unemployed, but it might just be a good idea for it to be unemployed. Like we said, we don't really know. Hey, a lot of them got to sleep in a house for once. The Olin days, the lodge was just at a lodge. And now, I don't know about that. Mang... I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> Mang Manganel? Not to be confused with the medieval... Uh... Ooh, carrots are done. The medieval catapult Maganel. Can only have two farmers in this farm. I'm assuming because like the farm was not connected to the house in any sort of way, that maybe just having more farmhouses would allow you to have more farmers out. We're not in a hurry, I don't think, but the hell. I don't know. I don't like it when they don't harvest, like, uh, everything in one go, though. In any game. Hey, they all make it inside? Nice. That might help things along here. We don't know how critical that is yet for them to be indoors. Oh, their life expectancy goes way up and they walk faster. So yeah, that's pretty important. Your beavers are happier than ever. You used to do well-being high score. Level five. That's good. Let's get this last house done and then that'll be the end of the video. Let's see, we have one new children. Hey, there we go. Okay, last lodge is built. We are all out of time for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation. Oh, you guys can't even see half the screen. I have to move my, I'll have to move my webcam for the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you would like to see more. Also, feel free to check out my Discord is in the comments below as well. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.